Listen to this. This generation has been deceived more than any other generation since this world began. This generation is a dumping ground for all wrong teachings. The devil has finished this generation. The earlier we wake up, the better. We must start learning the truth. Any teaching you hear, including my teaching, go to the Bible, make sure it is correct before accepting it. Because there is a big problem. And enough is enough. A spirit cannot marry. A spirit does not have form. This body we have, they don't have it. How can a spirit is like a wind? How can a wind get married? We accept teachings as if we put food in the nose. Sorry to say this. How can a spirit marry? A spirit that does not have this body. If you read the Bible, Jesus Christ cast out evil spirit from a man that was by the tomb. You remember the man? And the Bible records that that man that was by the tomb, that the evil spirits begged Jesus Christ to direct them to the swine. Because they didn't have any body. They cannot survive without a body. They are always looking for body. How can they marry? Well, they don't have body. They don't even have that to stay. You see, the reason we marry is because we have this body. When we pass on, we wouldn't need to marry again because the body will be gone. It will not be the spirit. The spirit will not die. When the spirit exists without the body, the spirit can no longer marry. What I've just said to you now, is it in the Bible? Yes, it is in the Bible. And I will show it to you. There was this group of people called the Sadducees. Have you heard of them? The Sadducees did not believe in resurrection. They believed that when a person dies, he has died. But Jesus was teaching about resurrection. So they came to Jesus and they were intelligent. They felt they would catch Jesus. And they said to Jesus, a certain man married a woman and died without having a child. And the man's brother decided to marry the woman to have children for the late brother. He also died without having a child. And seven brothers married the same woman and they all died without having a child. The woman herself eventually died. And they said to Jesus, he said there's resurrection. At the resurrection, which of the men would marry the woman? Because they all married her while on earth. And she did not have a child for any of them. So who would have right to marry her? And Jesus laughed at them. He, he laughed and said to them in, in Mark chapter 12, verses 24 and 25, Do you not therefore err, because you know not the scripture, neither the power of God? For when they shall arise again, they shall neither marry nor are given in marriage, but shall be as angels which are in heaven. In other words, Jesus Christ said that when we shall resurrect, we will not marry because we will be like angels in heaven. That scripture means that angels in heaven don't marry. Is that what they mean? And people who teach spirit husbands teach that spirit husbands are fallen angels. But Jesus Christ said that angels, whether fallen or not, don't marry. Who do we believe? There is nothing like spirit husband. Spirits don't marry. But let's assume that spirits will start getting married next week. <laughs> How does it concern you? If they want to marry, let them marry. How does it concern you? The Bible says, what has darkness got to do with light? How? The Bible says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit that lives in you. Will spirit husband come and ask the Holy Spirit to shift that he wants to enter? 
We have been deceived too much. Enough is enough. Spirits don't marry. My noise is that educated people have been deceived to believe this rubbish teaching. They are busy trying to cast away spirit husband, spirit wife from their lives. And they don't succeed. You know why they don't succeed? It does not exist. So nobody can succeed in casting it out. If I want to drive fly from this water, can I succeed? If you look at the water, you see there's no fly inside. Can I succeed in driving fly out of the water? Why? What if I try to drive it for one year? Will I succeed? Five years? That's why people pray against spirit husband and they don't succeed because it does not exist. The Bible says, by the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee bows. No evil spirit can resist the name of Jesus. But pastors, men of God have been trying to cast away spirit husband since 10 years, 15 years. Why? It does not exist. It's a trick. The devil has been deceiving the church so that we are not aware of the benefit of the ultimate marriage. Ultimate marriage has set us free and we are free indeed. Spirit husband teaching is a folk tale story. Have you had some folk tale stories? Let me share one folk tale story with you. There was a day Tortoise went to heaven for a party. <laughs> because he didn't have wing to fly, so he borrowed feathers from birds. Okay, and he was able to fly with the birds to heaven. He was the one that had the information of the party. So he borrowed feathers from them, and they flew to heaven. When they got to heaven, he said to them that in heaven, names must be different. Then I asked him, okay, what do you want to be called in heaven? He said, all of you. So they all chose different names. So before they knew, they brought one basin of rice and thought he screamed, this rice, is it for who? He says, oh, it's for all of you. He took it. <laughs> they brought chicken. He says, this chicken, is it for who? It's for all of you. He ate everything and finished the meat. Even the, the drink, he finished everything himself. And the birds were so angry with him. And they collected their feathers from him. And he fell from heaven and got his body broken. And if you see tortoise, you notice that the body is broken. <laughs> it's called folk tale story. Some of you believe me. Don't believe me. It's a folk tale story, okay? Now, spirit husband's story is in the same category with this story I just shared with you. Exactly the same. It's called superstitious belief. The, have you realized that you don't hear about Abiku and Obanje again in Africa? Spirit husband replaced Abiku and Obanje. It's not a joke. Okay, before 1970, do you agree with me that there was no teaching of spirit husband in the whole world? Yes, there was the whole world. And people were getting married easily. Ladies who are getting married, when they marry, they have kids. Are you not telling me that God had decided to create an evil spirit called spirit husband? Now, if you're a man of God here yeah, and you believe this teaching, or when you get home, go through the Bible, search through the scriptures. If you accept the teaching, start teaching your members the truth. Anybody that deceives people will face punishment on the last day. And on the other hand, anybody that reveals the truth to people will be rewarded. So even charge money to divorce spirit husband. I met a lady in Port Harcourt, and she said to me that she went for deliverance and they charged her 80,000 naira. So after the deliverance, the man said to her that the spirit husband is stubborn. 
that she should bring money, let them settle their mouth. Sweet husband, let it go his way. If spirit husband is this, Apostle Paul would have casted one out. Jesus would have casted at least one out. Or Peter. Nobody did. Why are we suddenly casting out what does not exist? The devil has finished this generation. In spite of the fact that spirit husband does not exist, anyone that believes that it exists, we start suffering in the same manner they teach that people who have the spirit husband suffer. If, for instance, a person has a teaching that spirit husbands are the reason people don't marry, that they are the reason people experience disappointment and delay in marriage, and she accepts the teaching, what has happened? Her mind has been corrupted. So she goes to sleep. What happens to her? She dreams of sex. Because she was told that people who have spirit husband dream of sex. So she dreams of sex, and she puts her hand on her head. She goes to the pastor, pastor, please, I have spirit husband. Conduct deliverance on me. Conduct deliverance on me. So pastor will start praying. So but by praying, that praying to cast away spirit husband means that she believes she has spirit husband. And in the kingdom, it is what you believe that happens to you. Because she believes you, she will start suffering like people that have spirit husband. If they told her that people who have spirit husband experience disappointment in marriage, then she will start experiencing disappointment in marriage. Because that's what she believes. It will be happening real. If they told her that if she, if she opens her eyes at 2 a.m., that she will see that her spirit husband seated on the bed. Truly, if she opens her eyes at 2 a.m., she will see a figure. But another person in the room will not see the figure. Why? That figure exists only in her mind. Are you getting this now? So no matter what you tell her, she will say that she knows her spirit husband. <laughs> and she will be suffering. Let me ask you a question. If you have a brother that wants to marry, and you discover that the lady your brother wants to marry has an evil spirit, would you encourage him to marry her? But some ladies themselves believe that they have evil spirit. Not that, not that people are saying, but they themselves believe it. They are sure. And they are still praying to marry. How can they marry? For them to marry, they have to cast away the spirit husband. And because it does not exist, they cannot succeed. So it's a big problem. So the solution is to realize you don't have an evil spirit. And that's it. The Bible says, once you know the truth, you shall be set free. Proposals will start coming. Then you just marry easily. A lady came to my office for counseling. And she said to me, Pastor, I have serpentine spirit. And I said to her, how did you know? And she said she had been told in various places that she has serpentine spirit. That the serpentine spirit follows her to everywhere she goes to. I, and I asked her a question. I asked her if the serpentine spirit followed her into my office. <laughs> and I told her she didn't have any evil spirit. Listen to me. Do you know what it means to be possessed? I tell, the meaning is that the evil spirit, evil spirit has taken possession of your mind. You no longer have a mind of your own. If you can open mouth and say that you have an evil spirit, then you don't have an evil spirit. If the evil spirit can allow you to tell a pastor you have an evil spirit, then you don't have any evil spirit. If a madman realizes he's mad, then the madness ceases to exist. Yeah. 